Morning, YouTube. Um, today we're just going to do a simple little uh, how-to video on stripping paint. Not so much a how-to video as uh, you're just going to see me do it. Um, <laughs> I got these brand new parts. If you've seen our last video, we did an unboxing. I got these bars and forks on clearance. Well, they don't really go with the bike I'm going to put them on, so we're going to strip them down raw. Um, I've never stripped for brand new paint before, so I don't know if it's going to come out so easy. So what we're going to do is take them into the garage and give them a quick sand and down, rough them up a bit so that the uh, stuff seeps in better and hopefully peels her off good. All right. <laughs> Forks, fires, and forks. So there we have our bars and our forks sanded down, ready for uh, to wipe them down a bit, get all the loose shit off. But after that, we'll uh, get them set up with the uh, paint stripper, and hopefully it just peels right off there, nice. So polished or uh, clear coated up with some clear enamel but first things first Sabor espresso Woohoo! Copy! Okay, so here we have our Sprayable paint stripper. The guy at the uh, car quest assures us this will do the job just fine. We've already prepped our forks and our bars. We've sanded them down a little bit to rough them up. Make for an easier strip, I hope. And uh, now we spray them. I guess leave them for about 20 minutes. Come back and see what we got. Oh, that looks promising. It looks like it's coming off. Wow, that is eating through the paint already. Yeah. Paint appears to be all bubbling up already. Looks like it can just be wiped right off. That's pretty sweet. It's just falling off. That is some, oh yeah it is. That <laughs> green blob of paint there. That is some seriously good paint stripper. If you can <laughs> find that stuff, that's what you want right there. The uh, Pro Foam Aircraft Spray. It's really good. Appears to be, doesn't it? Jeez. Okay, well, it looks like the green for the forks is ready to come off. <laughs> it's been, so, what, two minutes? <laughs> uh, it's been maybe ten. If that. Still not long, though. Not long at all. It just wipes right off. That's awesome. I highly recommend that stuff. Ooh, that came right off. Even the dimpled parts that I thought were going to be tricky just right off. I guess it's good we went with the spray because it went right in all the indents and stuff. Got rid of it all. They look pretty sweet. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Damn. Show forks. them to the camera. Just need a little bit of a touch up on some things. Mm -hmm. A little bit of sanding to polish them up a little bit, I think. Uh, they They're good. very polished, Dad. Yeah, but I got some scratch marks from there. Oh, yeah. 
grinder. I could always just polish them up or I could just leave them like that. I don't really give a shit. Looks good either way, I think. I think so. Red seems to take a bit longer. Yeah, it does. It's starting though. It's alright. I could say to wait 20 minutes and it's only been about 10. This is starting, so this will not take long either. Another 10 minutes. Okay. Guess we'll be back in 10. Okay. We're back with the bars. This stuff, some of it comes right off, and it looks like it's mostly liquefying it. It must be a different kind of paint or something that they use for these, I don't know. But some of it does peel right off. Nicely. But then others just kind of liquefied and comes off with a lot of scraping. Now I say we get off the stuff that's peeling most and give it another spray. And it covers more area so you can get more done at once. We've got our bars and our forks nicely rod out. Just need to uh, give them a good wiping down with some water first. Then you let that sit and dry. Which ain't gonna take very long. But uh, just clean it up nice. Just wash off any of the leftover cleaner uh, stripper that's on there. I actually gave them a little rinse under a spray hose real quick and I'm wiping them down with this damp rot wear egg just to clean them up a bit more. So now after we let those sit to dry out, we're going to give them some uh, prep spray. That's just another cleaner. It'll clean off any leftover grease or oils or anything that's on there. It'll stop our clear coat enamel. Yeah, excuse the lid, Royce dropped it on the way home. Uh, the bag broke. <laughs> I still dropped it. So, uh, we got a clear coat enamel here for after we prep it. And, uh, and that should be it. It should be all good to go for the build. So, well, first thing first, we're just gonna let these sit here and dry off, like I said. We're gonna go do groceries and finish it off when we come back. Okay. All right, so where we left off, we had our bars all cleaned up, rod out, and our forks. Now we just want to apply some of this uh, prep spray. It does it help eat off any extra oil, grease, left any leftover residues or anything like that that just rinsing it off with the watery rag and whatnot that you didn't get. So give it a nice coat of that. And give it a nice little wipe. Want to use a clean rag, not the rag that you used uh, earlier or anything. them right up so that our clear coat shouldn't have any problem adhering to it. It smells clean. <laughs> What's that? I said it smells clean. <laughs> yeah, it does smell really clean, doesn't it? Like, yeah. that's a really strong smell. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like a, like a transport truck cleaner or something. <laughs> My dad used to use on his trucks all the time. Anyway, there's the forks done. Good for that. For the bars. Cleaning them off good because they're not as 
at all is slippery. And then clear coat. Okay. Let that sit for about 20 minutes to a half an hour, and then we'll come out and put another coat on. <laughs> Looking fucking sick. All right, clear coat said that it should take a half an hour after all your coats to dry to the touch. I gave it about an hour. Let's check out these bad boys. See how they are. Here's our forks. They dry. Dry to the touch. Looking good. And those are the beauties. The beauties. And our bars. Also dry to the touch. Good to go. So, that's rod out bars, rod out forks. Stripping off the paint and getting a nice clear coat on them. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you liked what you saw here you want to see any more of it or anything like that i've ordered the parts for the rest of the build should hopefully be here by the end of next week i hope so stay tuned for the complete build subscribe and like thank you